Hi art students, this is Mrs. Myers and today we're going to be doing step one of our family totem pole and that is preparing our drawing. So for the first step, you're going to need a ruler, you're gonna need a plain white sheet of paper and you're going to need some scissors for cutting, a pencil with an eraser and a black marker would also be nice for the finishing touches. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to take your um, ruler and you're basically measuring on your paper so that you can have, um, so that it is four inches tall. So you will put your ruler to the four at the top of the paper, make a little mark at the end of the ruler and you will have four inches that way. And you want your paper to also be um, six and a half inches long. So that will be, you will put your ruler at the end of the paper there for the length and make a little mark at the six and a half inches mark, which would be right here. Um, once you mark out your, um, your length and height, you are going to use your handy dandy scissors and cut your paper so that it is four by six and a half. And then when you are done, it should look something like this. All right, so this is basically um, what we're gonna be using for each totem pole piece. So each totem pole piece is gonna represent you and your personality as an animal. Um, you will be using this paper in the next step um, to wrap it around the toilet paper roll or even um, the paper towel roll. So that's why it is the typical um, four inches tall and you'll be able to wrap it around there later. So if in your quiz you got that your personality matches mostly A's, which was the rat, we're going to do that step today. So that will be starting with your pencil, get your pencil, and you are, we're gonna be making our um, rat out of basic geometric shapes. And we're gonna basically fill up this paper. So uh, the first shape that we're gonna use for the head, is a large circle. So I'm doing a large circle for my rat's face, like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a large circle that fills up the rest for the body. Okay, so now we have a big circle and a smaller circle in front, which is going to be the face. And our rat's gonna have a nice um, round ear so I'm gonna do another circle here for one ear and another circle for the other ear here. And you can go ahead and since this circle, the circle for the ear is on top, you can erase anything on the inside of that circle and the other ear. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the face, which is out of circles as well, um, especially for the eyes. So we're gonna do one circle here for one eye and one circle over here for the other eye. And it's okay if it does not look just like mine. You can make your own personal touches to it. Inside of the eye, you wanna do the pupil, and it's okay for you to make your rat look in whatever direction you want. So I'm gonna have mine looking down, so I'm gonna put the circles towards the bottom, okay? I'm also gonna put a circle on the inside of the ear. And I'm gonna do a circle for the nose here. All right. Now we wanna do those whiskers, but we want them to be um, geometric shapes. So I'm gonna make my whiskers 
out of triangles, but you can feel free to do rectangles if that's what you want to do. Um, I'm gonna start off with a regular line to show how long I want the whiskers to be. And then I'm gonna turn that into a triangle shape. And I'm gonna do another one as well. And turn those into triangles. Because on the uh, totem poles um, that Native Americans do, they're, the animals are always made out of geometric shapes. It's very angular. All right. Now, I want to go ahead and give show that tail because we can use up this whole entire paper because this whole entire paper is going to wrap around this roll. So we want to be able to, we want it to look good around the whole edge. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do a tail. Um, I'm going to make my tail curl around the body to here. That is too thick. I'm gonna make that a little bit. I want it to start off thick and get thinner as it goes down. So I'm going to erase some of that. And inside of the tail, this tail is wrapping around the front, so I'm gonna erase everything on the inside of there. So now, once we have our basic shapes, I'm gonna go ahead and trace all of my lines with a black marker. So making it look like a coloring sheet. And just take your time, make sure you stay on side, stay on the lines. Almost done. And there we go. So now I have um, the basic uh, outlines for my mouse, or my rat, sorry. And now we want to go in and add some of those patterns that are very um, prominent in Native American totem poles. So I'm just going to Definitely in the tail, I want to do some lines so it kind of gives that rat tail look. Repeating the same line over and over again, all the way up. I also want to maybe do um, some type of pattern on uh, the body, even though you know rats don't normally have patterns on them, but we wanted to have that. Um, that stylized look. So I'm gonna just choose, hmm, I think I'm gonna do some triangles and just repeat them in the body of the rat. You can do whatever shape or whatever type of lines that you would like to do to make your pattern inside. of the body. And I want to maybe do something different on the face. 
Um, I don't want to do too much on the face, but I'm going to do a little something. So I am going to just make maybe some lines that are like this. Then I'm going to turn into some rectangles just to give a little bit of pattern on the face, but not too much. And I can do um, some type of pattern on the ears as well. I'm gonna do some lines. You can do whatever, repeat whatever type of line or shape you want. And I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. Now you also have all of this space around the uh, animal that you can choose to do something to as well. Um, because you want to be able to color that in. So I'm just going to break this up with some lines so that I can be able to add color in these spaces. And it actually, doing these lines like this, kind of resemble how a tree trunk is, the grains of the wood. So I kind of like that. So there we go for step one this is my stylized um, rat for my totem pole